It's Cam and Sally at Breakfast South Wales, number one hit music station, Red Dragon FM, Friday morning. Got Cheryl Cole on the show today. Now, before we played your debut solo single, it's called Fight With This Love, taken from the forthcoming album, Three Words. Yeah. What uh, are those three words? Exactly. What are those three words? Are they not the, the you know, the obvious I love you then? I left it open. Um, we sat together for, for hours on end thinking of song to album titles. That's actually a song title, three words. Um, oh, okay. It's the, the second single. But everything I come up with, every title had three words. So I thought, why not leave it open? And it could mean any three words, and I'll keep those three words to myself. Oh, OK. D so yes. do, you, do you genuinely have three words at the back of your head that you... No, yes. that mean yeah, okay. It's not I, gonna, you're not I, gonna, I have an assortment it. in the change daily. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, if there's one, I might try a Darren Brown type trick on you. We thought we were on the same wavelength earlier, so I was going to go for I was going to go for my first album. It could be. Could be. It could be. <laughs> See, like, there you go. That's like the beginning of Hong Kong Fooey. Is could it the be. janitor? Could be. Could be. <laughs> Tommy's, oh, it could Tommy's, be on my own. On, uh, oh. Yeah. What, what is what's going on with um, Girls Aloud? Is there uh, yeah. another album in the offing? Is there? Um, There's there... three. We we just um, recently signed a contract for three albums in the future, so that's three in the pipeline. Fantastic stuff. That's wicked news. Brilliant. Good. No. Um, now, the X Factor. If you don't mind talking about that for a little bit, um, yeah. you've got a live solo appearance, haven't you, coming up next month? Are you terrified uh -huh. about that? Or are you really looking forward to it? Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm terrified, but I'm excited as well. I mean, it's a fantastic show to be performing on and you know it's exciting stuff I absolutely love the single and I want to show everybody so it's bittersweet really I'm terrified to be up there doing it live in front of the nation when I'm supposed to be sat on the panel but I'm also really excited for everyone to hear what I'm doing so that yeah, that must me. be one of the hardest things there's that latest judge in um, American Idol and um, the girl the female singer and she was judging a singer. And oh, she said, Cora. Yeah, and she goes, no, it should be sung like this. And she got up and started singing it. And I thought, no, oh, no, 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 don't do that. Oh, no, no, sit down, sit <laughs> it was, down. Yeah, it oh, was no. a, I mean, oh, going, no, up, going up and offering support like you did on the last weekend's uh, episode was just absolutely that was adorable. lovely. And she's such a nice girl as well. She's, yeah, and she's beautiful as well, actually. Yeah, but um, she looks that, like a pop star. That must be one of the hardest things, though, when they are that lovely, but they just don't have a hope in hell. It must be the hardest thing to tell them no. Yeah, and I've really struggled with that last year. Like, I, I had a real problem with it to the point where I would often be tucked to one side and, and be spoken to by Simon because I was just saying yes to anybody, <laughs> and he was saying, but you're making yourself look silly, you know. You need to be... A little bit than harder. You are, really. So this year he was like, Do you know what? You you're actually not helping them. You're deluding them and you're patronising them. And he's right. So I find it a bit easier this year to say no when I think it's necessary. Yeah, but you say it so nicely that I'm sure they just be like, Oh bless oh, her, okay. Gosh. Um but um you two, I love watching you and Simon because I'm not saying in any uh, I'm not suggesting <laughs> sexual chemistry between you two, but the chemistry between you is hilarious and it's so entertaining. You really? do you just get on so well? We do, we do and we don't. Yeah, we I love Simon to bits, but um he's got this real thing where I know he is right a lot of the time, but not all of the time, nobody is and you know, we're there to have our opinion as well, and sometimes he doesn't allow that, so... You no, know, sometimes he can really get up my nose. <laughs> and then other times, you know, I do love him. I do adore him as a person and off-camera and all of that. I love him, so... We do have a good chemistry and a good friendship beyond anything else. Wicked. And what do, what on earth do you buy him for his birthday? I take it you're going to his uh, half-a-million-pound well, birthday bash next month. Last year, I bought him um, a grey T-shirt... A white t shirt, right. a grey jumper, a navy jumper, a set of teeth whitening gels, a mirror, and some fake tan. So I don't really know what I'm going to do this year. I like that because it might not be the most expensive, but you've put some thought into it. <laughs> yes. You know the guy. Yes. Um, he laughed. He did laugh, to be fair. Each present he opened, he laughed his head off. He does look like... He's one of those guys that's always eluded us that we'd absolutely love to interview. He looks like one of the toppest guys in the world. I think he's absolutely fantastic. He's a um, fantastic guy. And as smart as you think he is, he, he's 
a million times smarter than that. It's quite scary. I bet he wow. is. Now, you used to live with Nicola, didn't you? I did. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, is that it, was is... in the days of the fake tan when all the bed sheets would be covered in brown stains and smell like cooked chicken. <laughs> so, <yes. laughs> but do you, do you ever miss um, the sort of girliness of living in the flat with her? I mean, does Ashley ever do anything that you think, oh, God... You know, I wish I was back with Nick in the flat. Obviously not. I just miss the I've but... missed the girliness in general, to be honest with you. Um there's been times since I've been doing this um solo project I've been really quite lonely. But um I just email the girls or uh, BBM them we call it. I'm t- used to with technology by the way. So I Blackberry message them and just tell them we just talk like that but no I do I miss them there's a whole different vibe you know five girls rocking around together it's different when you're on your own I have to say I haven't watched that um, when you went to do the street dancing uh, yes. in the States and then uh, you showed the video to all the girls and they seemed genuinely supportive and there was it seemed like there was genuine love there so I've always really liked that about girls allowed it seems like you're quite real with each actually, other actually they were there um, when we, when I got the edit through to this video for Faith for This Love and they've had their tuppence worth in there as well which edits they liked and didn't like and which shots they thought weren't so flattering and blah 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 so I got all of that in the neck as well so yeah they're, <laughs> they're well involved <laughs> And did you change it from, from any I of the I did things? yeah no wow. of course because I listened to them, their opinion, you know, we've been, they know me inside out. So I kind of got to a point where I couldn't even look at myself anymore. I don't really know what looks good anymore or what doesn't. So I relied on it in a way. And yeah, I took parts out and I put more bits in that they liked. So yeah, they got their own way on that one. (laughs) Awesome. Cheryl Cole, we wish you the best of luck with everything, every endeavour. Thank you very much. And you've always been supportive of Girls Aloud from day one. So honestly, thank you very much. We really appreciate it. It's been our pleasure. (laughs) Uh, Thank you very much for uh, coming on the show today. Cheryl Cole. Oh, so gorgeous to speak to you. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you.